In this video, I'll be reviewing the Lumeri Smart 2 Outlet Water Timer that can be controlled through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Lumeri is a well-known company in the smart home category of products. They manufacture quite a bit of smart products for homes, specifically in the lighting sector. They launched this new smart water timer and it goes up against some heavyweights in the industry like Orbit and Melnor. I'll break this video down into the unboxing, install and configuration, my thoughts and opinions, and how this water timer compares against other brands like Orbit. Let's start with the unboxing. The box itself is nicely colored with the product picture on the front. On the side, they highlight some of the features like rain delay and auto scheduling. On the back, we have a wealth of information like the website and contact information, as well as specifications like working temperature, pressure, power supply, and hose tap size information. This product is made in China, and there are some QR codes that will take you to their YouTube channel and their WhatsApp contact. Opening up the box we have a nice instructions guide i will have to say this is probably the nicest setup guide i've ever seen for these things the instructions are detailed from start to finish on how to set up this water timer there's even color pictures as well so great job by lumeri for providing these instructions included in the box is a spare hose washer there are two small packages that have quick connectors as well as thread tape for each output on the timer Here's the main water timer unit. Initial impression is that it's a nice color. It's a big difference from the gray or black color from a lot of the other water timers on the market. You have the Lumeri logo on the front along with the two small buttons. There is no screen like the other water timers so this is only configurable through the app. I'll go into detail on that later in the video. The connector for the hose tap is a nice brass finish. There is no rubber around the connector so hand tightening this might be difficult for some. There's also a small water screen to catch any debris that may be in the line. The hose connectors are made of a plastic type material. On the back we have the compartment for the batteries and I like how they included the precautions on the back of the unit as well. The most important being that this cannot be outside when temperatures dip below freezing. Opening up the battery compartment we can see the cover has a nice seal to it. This timer uses four AA batteries. By the way, this water timer does have an IP55 rating, so it should be able to stay water resistant through most climates. Also included in the box is the Wi-Fi hub, which Lumeri calls the smart gateway. This is what will allow your water timer to be controlled using Wi-Fi. I think this is a major advantage this timer has over the Orbit Beehive water timer. For Orbit, the Wi-Fi hub is sold separately and people often don't realize that. The fact that Lumeri provides the Wi-Fi hub with this water timer is a big plus. The Lumeri Wi-Fi hub is fairly small and has a single button on the outside and uses a two-prong plug. So let's set up this water timer and get it ready for use. I'm going to first insert the four AA batteries. The two lights on the front should start blinking like this. Next, we'll plug in the Wi-Fi gateway to a plug. Keep in mind, this Wi-Fi gateway needs to be within 49 feet of the water timer without signal interference, according to the instructions guide. I just plugged it into an outlet in my garage. Now we'll download the Lumeri app to get everything connected. In the app store, search for Lumeri and download this app. After downloading, you'll be prompted if you want to enable notifications, choose whatever you prefer. You'll need to review the privacy policy and agree to move forward. Now you'll need to sign up for a new account, choose your location and enter your email address. Once you get the verification code, just set the password and review the data to share with Lumeri. Click go to app when ready. The Lumeri app will then request to search for Bluetooth devices, click continue. The app will give some guidance on where to click. Just click the add device icon to add a new device. The Lumeri app will then request access to your location and home data. This will help the app connect to your Wi-Fi as well as be able to integrate with things like Alexa and Google Assistant. Click continue. You'll see the discovering devices message along the top. Now on your Lumeri Wi-Fi gateway device, press and hold the button for five seconds until you see the green light 
blinking. Go back to the app, and if the app is able to find the Wi-Fi gateway, you should be prompted to enter your home's Wi-Fi password. Enter it, and you'll see the app adding the Wi-Fi gateway. Wait for it to complete, and you'll see the green check mark showing it was added successfully. Click Done. Now you'll see the Lumeri Smart Gateway B1 homepage. Click the add device along the bottom and then click search for devices to add the water timer. The app will instruct you to enable pairing mode on the water timer. This can be done by pressing the two buttons on the front of the water timer for six seconds until the green lights are rapidly flashing. Click the light is in a flash button in the app to begin the connection process. You'll get a confirmation that the device has been added and a notification that the water timer can be used. Click next. Here you can edit the name of the water timer by clicking the little pencil icon. Click done. You'll be taken back to the home page. Now let's set up the water timer on the outdoor faucet. I'm just going to use some of the thread tape that was provided in the package. As mentioned, this water timer does not have a rubber tightening grip on the connector for the faucet. So after hand tightening you'll want to use a pair of pliers to tighten completely be careful not to over tighten turn on the water and check for leaks i'm also going to hook up the pipes for these two zones again use the thread tape provided in the package to get these water lines hooked up without leaks so now let's jump back to the app and check out all the other features from the top of the home page you'll be able to see the water timer name and just below it you can see how much battery charge is left as well as the status of the two outlets right now they are not running so it shows idle below that it shows the forecast for your area working our way down we can see the two zones that represent the two outlets for this water timer. Clicking the little pencil icon will allow you to change the name of the zones. For zone one, I'm just going to label it red roses front. If you click the area where it shows photo, you'll be able to place a picture of the area you'll be watering. For the second zone, I'll label it hydrangeas and upload a pic for this zone as well. Below the picture of the zone, you'll notice an icon of a faucet. It's not as obvious as it should be, but if you tap the faucet icon, it will turn on the water for that zone. Essentially, this is the way you would manually water. I'll do a quick test and show you how it looks. You can see that after tapping the zone one faucet icon, the water will turn on for zone one. You can also see along the top, it shows that zone one is in manual mode and it's just basically stating that it is running manually. Another way to run the timer manually is by clicking the button on the timer itself. But just remember, you'll have to click it again in order to stop the manual watering. This countdown is how long you want to let the manual water watering to run. So if you want this to run for 10 minutes, just click this field and it will bring up a scrollable list of time in hours and minutes. If you want the watering to stop immediately, then just tap the faucet icon again and that zone will turn off. This set time field is how you can set a watering schedule for the zone. Click the plus icon to choose if you want a timed watering schedule or a cyclical watering schedule. Let's take a look at how the timed watering schedule looks first. Along the top, you'll be able to set the start time. Next, you'll be able to set the irrigation duration, which is basically how long the zone will be watered for. The hours field goes from zero all the way to 24 hours, and the minutes field goes from one minute all the way to 59 minutes. I'll set this for 10 minutes. Now you'll be able to choose the frequency. The first option is weekly, which allows you to choose what days of the week you want the schedule to run. Anything highlighted in blue are the days the schedule will run. There's also the option for odd numbered days or basically odd days of the month, even numbered days, and every few days are the other two options. If you select the every few days option, you'll be able to customize the schedule further. This field you can set from every one day all the way up to every 31 days. The start date is just basically when you want this option to start. I'm just going to go back and choose weekly cycle and have it run every few days for 10 minutes by tapping the days of the week. 
The other watering schedule option is called cyclical watering schedule. Let's take a look and see how this works. This type of schedule is basically watering the specified zone at set intervals during the days and times you set. So let's use an example. Let's just say you put some grass seed down and you need to make sure the seeds stay moist. So we can set the start time to be 10 a.m. and the end time to be 5 p.m. This is essentially telling the timer to only run during these hours. Now we can set the irrigation duration to 10 minutes and the interval time Time to every three hours. So now this zone will be watered every three hours for 10 minutes between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's a convenient feature and I'm sure there would be many uses for this type of watering schedule. Now we can see the schedules we just set for the first zone. If you need to delete a schedule, simply swipe left and you'll be able to delete it. Going back to the home page, this rain and snow delay option is exactly what it sounds like. Although I would hope you wouldn't have this timer out when it's snowing. Clicking this will allow you to set the rain delay. This field is set to days, so you can choose one day or up to seven days. Something to note about this rain delay, unlike the Orbit Beehive water timers, this Lumeri water timer does not have an automatic rain delay. The Orbit Beehive water timers, when connected to Wi-Fi, will watch the weather forecast for your area and automatically set the rain delay. This Lumeri water timer does not have that feature, so that's something to keep in mind. Lastly, we have the irrigation records, which is a log record of when the water timer ran for that zone. Some other additional useful information regarding the app. If you click this little pencil icon along the top, you'll be taken to the page where you can edit the water timer name, and you can even upload a picture of your own water timer if you want to. This section also allows you to set up third-party control using Alexa or Google Assistant. You can view device information, create device grouping if you have other Lumeri products, and share the device, although the sharing option is not available for this water timer just yet. You can also check the help center if you have any questions or issues and check to see if there are any firmware updates. So that about wraps up the Lumeri app and how you can use it to control the water timer from your phone. I personally like this timer and I think it has a good amount of features. It will definitely make your life easier, especially being able to control everything from your phone. Comparing it to the Orbit Beehive water timer, I think it does fall short in some aspects. The fact that this Lumeri water timer doesn't have an automatic rain delay is one disadvantage. This means you will have to open the app and set the rain delay yourself if rain is in the forecast. The other disadvantage is that this water timer can only be controlled through the app, meaning there is no way to control it at the water timer as there are no physical controls on the water timer. The only physical controls on the water timer itself are two buttons that allow you to turn the zone water on and off. This could be cumbersome for some folks that don't usually carry their phone everywhere. In conclusion, I think this water timer is a solid competitor in the ever-growing market of smart irrigation devices. At the time of making this video, this Lumeri 2 outlet water timer sells for $70, and keep in mind, the required Wi-Fi hub is included with the timer. Orbit Beehive's 2 outlet timer, on the other hand, costs $55, but no Wi-Fi hub is included. With the Wi-Fi hub, you're looking at about $110 for the Orbit Beehive system, so the Lumeri certainly is the most cost-effective of the two. I'll put a link to the Lumeri water timer in the description of this video. I hope this video was informative and answered any questions that you may have. Please feel free to share your feedback in the comment section and reach out if you have any additional questions. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.